Okay, in pharmacy, we're very fortunate that we have um, the National Association of um, Pharmacy Regulatory Authorities, which actually sets uh, competencies and standards of practice for pharmacy techs. So, pharmacy technician is a um, a profession. It is a healthcare profession. We are regulated. We join about 25 other healthcare professions that are self-regulating. So we have competencies and standards that um, every course um, in college across Canada has to fulfill. So we're very lucky that we can build our program around these competencies and standards. Um, we have several things. There will be written tests. Um, and a lot of it is the hands-on. So if they're entering prescriptions, they'll be um, marked for their accuracy of all the fundamentals that they have to get correct. The patient, the doctor, um, the drug itself, the quantity, the day supply. So they are marked on what they're inputting and of course their understanding of the prescription because that's what they have to input. Um, for the sterile prep, um, we are marking them on their actual skills that we build on from day one. We start off with um, maybe just getting them used to handling syringes and needles and the different sizes and the selection that they would take. And then we build upon that. And there's four skills um, all together that they have to do. Um, the first one would be the aseptic um, garbing and hand washing because there's a specific way they have to wash and dress before they go into the clean room to actually prepare sterile products. And then there's removing um, fluid from an ampule, um, then from a vial, and then reconstituting a powder that's in a vial and removing that, injecting into the bag. So we're building every week on their skills and every skill set they're tested on along the way. And then at the end, it's a cumulative um, test where they have to do everything from the uh, hand wash to the garbing and all of their um, the skills that they have learned.